Hello all you Pixel people, I am Pixel and welcome to a quick guide to movement in Dirty Bomb. Today I'm going to be mostly covering the basics as the game is about to go offline for a little bit and we don't know if any of this will be changed for the next version of the beta. So let's get started with the basics of getting around shall we? One of the features that has made its way into Dirty Bomb that was popularised by games like Counter-Strike is the idea that your Merc's movement speed is directly influenced by the current weapon that you have equipped. And that kind of reminds me of something. You wanna go for a jog, man? We can go for a jog. Okay, but what are you doing with a knife? What do you mean? Run faster with a knife. Everyone runs faster with a knife. Now, depending on your FOV, the overall difference may not appear to be all that great, but I promise you that it does in fact make a huge difference. Here is a quick look at the difference in action for instance. Both these clips on the left and the right are of Thunder, the big heavy guy with the concussion grenades, running from one end of the street on Whitechapel all the way to the other. The video on the left is obviously spinning with a knife out and the clip on the right is with his default light machine gun. As you can see the overall difference is actually worth taking advantage of, it's around 20%. In fact when playing around with some of these trick jumps later on you'll find it's actually impossible to do some of these without your knife out. So remember when not in combat or just trying to get around the map, pull out that melee weapon and get into position that much quicker. Once you get more experience with quickly switching weapons then you should be switching back and forth constantly. Okay, so another feature which has made its way into Dirty Bomb that was also available in Half-Life and Counter-Strike is the Crouch Jump. Currently, to be honest, there's not that many places on the maps where it's all that useful, but it's always handy to keep in mind for when you may want to escape or simply jump over or onto an obstacle that was blocking your way. To crouch jump, you simply press jump, hold the direction that you want to go, and then crouch at around the time you reach the peak of your jump. Simples. Now, one feature that you may not all be so familiar with is the long jump. Now, this is a movement ability that allows you to gain just a little bit of extra momentum and is best used for diving into cover and initiating wall jumps and even jumping gaps that are just a little bit too wide for a normal sprinting jump. To do a long jump, you simply need to be sprinting forward and then you tap crouch, quickly followed by a jump and your merc should launch themselves forward. One word of warning, however, the long jump does come with a downside. On landing, your movement speed will be reduced for a short period of time to prevent spamming the ability to move around the map. This means that long jumping into fights is not always one of the smartest ideas, so do use it sparingly. And finally in the basic movement set, we have the wall jump, and as you can guess, because as the name suggests, you can jump off walls by tapping jump again when next to a wall. In the current build, you are only supposed to be able to wall jump a maximum of two times. However, there do seem to be a few exceptions where the game will allow you to manage three wall jumps in a row. It's worth noting that this is actually most likely a bug, so I will try and stick to wall jumps that require a maximum of two in this video. The wall jump can also be chained together with a long jump, so be sure to keep an eye out for gaps that will be basically impossible to clear with just two wall jumps, but may be possible with a long jump into a wall jump combo. So now that we've got the basics down, let's have a quick look at some examples of proper usage. Travelling around the map is one of the easiest and by far most common reasons to use some of these movement features. For instance, due to the slowdown after a long jump, it makes little to no sense to spam it in order to get anywhere faster. However, when you do chain a long jump with multiple wall jumps, the gain kind of outweighs the slowdown. So you do manage to get where you want to go a little bit faster. This works best in narrow walkways but can often be used creatively once you've mastered the ability to wall jump off the same wall multiple times. For example, have a quick look at some of these clips. Other examples of using the movement system for simple travel include jumping over obstacles rather than walking around them and basically cutting corners where possible, so keep an eye out for any time that you think could be saved. Trick jumping, like travelling, can be used to save yourself some time. 
but most importantly, it can be used for getting into places where the enemy does not expect you to be. This is great for both surprise attacks and also escaping situations that would be nearly impossible without the use of such jumps. Trick jumps are much more complex than basic travelling and do require a fair bit of practice before you will perfect each one. A couple of basic trick jumps that I use quite often include the getting onto the pipes from the attacker's spawn on terminal, getting onto the balcony at the first objective on terminal and getting onto the stairway on Whitechapel. Currently there are hundreds of known trick jumps so try and look around your environment and see if you can spot any opportunities while playing yourself. Just so you guys can get an idea of the complexity and usage of the trick jumps, let's have a quick look at this jump onto the pipe in terminal in a little bit more detail. First, I sprint towards the car. I tap jump so I land on the roof of the car and then I tap crouch followed by jump once again so I can long jump towards the pipe. While doing this, I am holding down the right strafe key and when my body lines up with the pipe on the right, I tap jump again so I can wall jump off it to gain the extra height. And finally, I use the movement keys to control myself when landing on top of the pipe. This actually seems a lot more complex than it actually is, because once your muscle memory kicks in, you'll be doing these kind of jumps almost instinctively without even thinking about it. So, be sure to practice, 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 and then when you're done practicing, just practice some more. Well, I suppose that's all we can really go into when it comes to the basics of movement. Just keep in mind that the movement system really does encourage experimentation, so be sure to play around and see if you can find any of these sneaky jumps yourself. I'll do some more map specific movement guides in the near future, so be sure to slap that subscribe button for some more PC gaming goodness and some more dirty bomb action. And don't forget, if this video has helped you out, then please be sure to give it a big thumbs up, aka a like. And remember, I am Pixel, I want to thank you once again for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you again very soon. Cheers guys, thanks for watching, bye bye.